everything inside me. Lola takes place in an insane asylum, with evil nurses and lots of pills. And, through symbolism, the video celebrates the sick world of trauma-based mind control. Iggy Azalea has been churning out albums and music videos for years, and nobody knows exactly why. I mean, most of her albums sell poorly. And critics hate everything she does. And her mentor T.I. called her the biggest blunder of his career. Most damning of all, she is known as nobody's favorite rapper around my living room. This is a headline that sums up the reception of Iggy Azalea's last album. Despite all of these career-ending facts, Iggy is still in the spotlight. She still appears in award shows, and she is still backed by big industry promotional budgets. Why is that? Well, if you often watch videos on this channel, you probably already know the answer. And that answer can be summed up in one of her Instagram pics. This picture, and the many other one-eye pics she took during her career, indicate that she is owned by the industry, and that she is being used to push its agenda. Here's a quick recap of her career. Eight years ago, she released Change Your Life, a video that was all about beta kitten programming. Seven years ago, her performance at the 2014 American Music Awards was a celebration of kitten programming. This could be the official logo of Beta Kitten Programming. The face of a cat that has a thunderbolt, representing electroshock torture, splitting its head in half, representing the fracturing of MK slaves. Four years ago, she released the video Savior, which was basically a satanic ritual taking place inside a church, she got married to the devil. In 2019, she released Lola, which is a celebration of her industry slave status. Before we look at the actual video, the symbolism surrounding her new album deserves a closer look. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Iggy's new album is called Wicked Lips. While it sounds like the name of an adult movie from 1993, there is actually a deeper meaning to this name. The album art provides the context required to fully understand the wicked intentions behind the name. This photo shows Iggy holds an apple surrounded by barbed wire. The album art and the title are inspired by the religious concept of Sacred Heart. This is a classic depiction of Jesus Christ holding the heart of his resurrected body. It is surrounded by thorns. It is said to represent the long-suffering love and compassion of the heart of Christ towards humanity. In Iggy's version, she holds an apple instead of a heart. This most likely represents the apple offered to Eve by Satan in the Garden of Eden. Instead of Sacred Heart, the album uses the same format but with different words to make wicked lips. In short, this is a classic case of satanic inversion and desecration. The occult elite love to flood mass media with this kind of imagery, and Iggy is being used to keep this trend going. The occult elite also loves to portray the stars of its entertainment business as MK slaves. And Lola is all about portraying Iggy and her collaborator Alice Jader as victims of monarch programming. The goal of monarch programming is to drug and traumatize slaves in order to create new alter personas through dissociation. Lola goes deep into this sick world. While making it fun and sexy. In this song, Iggy embodies an alter personality, named Lola. Here's how Iggy explained the song on Instagram. It's a song about being moody, or having lots of different personalities. In the video, Iggy Azalea and Alice Chater are depicted as beta kitten slaves, used to create sex slaves to be used in elite circles. The name Lola itself has historical sensual connations. Though the name originated with a title for the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus Christ, Lola has also acquired a number of contrasting sensual associations. 
American authors, Pamela Redmond Satran and Linda Rosencrantz, noted in their 2008 book, Cool Names for Babies, that the name has a sultry image, and that people associate the name with the song, Whatever Lola Wants, Lola Gets, from the musical Damn Yankees, in which the character of Lola is the devil's best homewrecker. Lolita is a Spanish diminutive form of Lola. The name is sometimes used as a term to indicate a sexually precocious girl due to its association with the title character of Vladimir Nabokov's 1955 novel, Lolita, and its film adaptations in 1962 and 1997. The name's sexually charged image in certain countries is also due to associations with Lola, a 1970 song by the Kinks, about a young man's encounter with a transvestite named Lola. With these facts in mind, we are ready to properly analyze the video. It is as blatant as it is insidious. The video begins with an exterior shot of an insane asylum. The asylum is called Celestial Heights. The name has a spiritual connotation, an allusion to heaven, while also referring to the horrific goal of MK Ultra, the dissociation of slaves through trauma. Indeed, slaves who dissociate are said to feel a sensation of floating and weightlessness. To Celestial Heights. Because they are freed from the pain. The plaque also says. For wicked lips and devilish women. More allusions to the satanic context of the album. The lyrics of the second verse also point to this dualistic concept. I'm a an angel and a demon. Happy when I act the meanest. I think like all my nights are sleepless. This feels like paradise and dreamin'. He said, Lola, girl, you're evil. Well, maybe you the reason. Inside the asylum, we see Iggy and Alice locked inside a room. Throughout the video, Iggy and Alice are often dressed the same, alluding to the fact they represent different personas of the same person. Then three nurses enter the room. It is rather clear that the nurses are evil and they're not here to help. They're here to program MK slaves through sadistic practices. The girls are then given pills. Drugs are administrated to MK slaves to facilitate dissociation and programming. To illustrate that fact, once they swallow the pills, everything around them becomes colorful and distorted. The bed and clock indicate that they're still in the same room. However, everything around them is different. This scene is on par with other MK-themed media where the slave is at the same exact location, but everything is different and distorted due to dissociation. A classic example of this programming script is the Disney movie Return to Oz, where all of Dorothy's adventures are actually an MK slave's distorted perception of trauma and abuse at an MK programming site. I mean, seriously, Dorothy even gets electroshocked in the movie. In Lola, several visual cues indicate that the girls are actually undergoing beta kitten programming. First, the nurses are fully dressed in feline print. As indicated in previous videos on this channel, feline prints are used in the MK system to indicate beta kitten programming. In the video, it is the programmers who are wearing the print. This is because programmers are often MK slaves themselves. The general behavior of the nurses in the video points towards that fact. Second, take a closer look at Alice's boots. The boots are covered with faces of Marilyn Monroe. As it is often mentioned in this channel, Marilyn Monroe is the patron saint of Beta Kitten slaves. Nearly all representatives of the Beta Kitten system and pop culture, that is, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, and many others, give homage to Marilyn Monroe at one point or another in their career. It is almost as if it is a requirement. Then, Iggy is taken by force to another place by the nurses. Notice that all of the pictures and paintings hanging on the wall are distorted and contain pills in them, again, hinting to the drug-induced state of dissociation of the slaves. Here, Iggy and Alice are inside a padded room. In their state of dissociation, their straitjackets become dresses and their straps now are stylish accessories. Mind control is so cool. Then, through easy-to-miss details, the video gets even darker. Iggy and Alice dance around as the nurses watch. The objects in this scene imply that, in reality, something much darker is happening here. On the left of this screenshot, we see a privacy screen and an articulated multi-headed lamp. Both of these objects are used in operating rooms. Therefore, in real life, they're undergoing surgery. Why? 
MK slaves, especially beta kittens, are subjected to lots of surgeries. The torture to the body is painful. The body of many slaves are only kept functioning because they are given repeated surgery by doctors working under the auspices of the Illuminati. These doctors can be trusted on to keep quiet about the abused bodies they have to keep fixing. Then, the girls are taken to another medical room. The room contains two bathtubs full of pills. On the right is a human brain. Once again, this scene refers to specific trauma-based mind control treatments. Here's an excerpt from the formula to create a mind control slave that explains the two bathtubs and the general link between mental asylums and MK programming. Nadine Scala was a nurse in a mental hospital who wrote an expose based on her diary while she worked. Her book is entitled Keeper of the Keys, Westlake Village, California, F. and J. Publishing Corporation, 1976. The following are quotes from her account of working in a mental hospital. How can they allow such places to exist? Do you remember the young rape victim and how they treated her, the girl with beautiful olive skin and long brown hair? They filled the bathtub with cubes of large ice and dropped her into it. They removed her from that and placed her in scalding hot water. She came out red as a lobster. Her body was badly blistered. According to what Nadine Scala was told, half of the patients in mental hospitals are schizophrenics. A hefty percentage of these schizophrenics are really programmed multiples who are being quietly discarded by the system. How many victims of trauma-based total mind control have ended up sent to mental hospitals? Many tens of thousands, maybe the exact number will never be known. America's mental hospitals have also played an active role in the programming and the research for the programming. The singers laying in the bathtubs as everything swirls around them due to drugs and dissociation. After the trauma, the girls end back in harsh cold reality. This scene shows Iggy and Alice are back in their room as nurses try to control them. Wow, they are so wild and rebellious. That is what most viewers will think. Despite the fact that the video was about the exact opposite of being rebellious. It was about the complete control and breakdown of the human mind. Lola is in perfect continuation of Iggy Azalea's career. The concept behind her album Wicked Lips is clearly satanic, and the video Lola is clearly a celebration of the occult elite's MK Ultra system. However, these facts are only clear to those who understand the true meaning of the symbolism in the video, while also understanding the sick mindset of the occult elite that rules the industry. And, despite efforts to wake up the masses, most people still do not see these things. And, considering the fact that these videos are mostly viewed by young people, all of this imagery is absorbed in their minds without any kind of questioning. Even worse, all of this sickness is packaged in a fun, sexy and colorful matter. It is eye candy, combined with a catchy musical earworm, to create an addictive product destined viewed millions of times. However, to those who are not dissociated by mass media brainwashing, the video is actually pure pain and suffering. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.